Excellence Chemistry. Now let's continue with my lectures on Polymer Chemistry. Today I am going to discuss about a second lecture in Polymer Chemistry that is nothing but introduction of several polymers. Okay, so in previous video I had discussed about like a classification of polymers. Today I am going to discuss about uh, some of the introduction of polymers. So many number of polymers are there. Students are suffered with uh, like for remembering those kind of all those kind of polymers. Okay, so for the sake of simplicity I would like to classify the polymers into several types like a uh, vinyl polymers polyester polymers, polyamide polymers, rubber polymers, as well as biodegradable polymers, okay? So, those kind of polymers, I was explained in series of videos, like a lecture number 2, lecture number 3, lecture number 4, like that, okay? So, today I am going to discuss with uh, like a vinyl polymers. So, today our class is only vinyl polymers, okay? So, let's move on to the vinyl polymers. So, the vinyl polymers, the simple vinyl is nothing but ethylene. So it has this uh, plenty of polymers that is nothing but uh, like polythene, polyvinyl chloride, polyacrylate, polymethoxy, methyl acrylate, okay, polymethyl methoxy acrylate, those kind of uh, vinyl polymers are uh, there, okay. Now let us discuss the uh, those vinyl polymers one by one. So the first one is a very simple one, so that is nothing but a polythene. So we are all are familiar with that. So polythene is nothing but a CH2 double bond CH2 in presence of a, like a Polymerization, it undergoes the polymerization, it produces the polythene. So, the more number of poly number of uh, ethylene, pro, ethylene monomers are there, that's why it is called as polythene. Okay, so generally, this is the like a preparation of a polythene method. So, this is the simplest uh, polymer that is nothing but polythene. So, which is obtained from the like a uh, monomer of ethylene, monomer of ethylene. So, it generally it was classified into two types that is nothing but a low density polythene as well as a high density polythene low density polythene as well as high density polythene okay so both are the same structures but it has the it has varied with some different physical properties some different physical properties now shall we look down at those different physical properties so now here ch2 double bond ch2 so in presence of high temperature that is nothing but thousand like a high pressure thousand to two thousand atmosphere as well as a, like a 350 to 750 kelvin temperature like a trace amounts of a like a trace amounts of peroxy indicate uh, peroxy initiators so it produces the this kind of material this is nothing but polythene this is nothing but polythene so here also like a ch2 double bond ch2 in presence of 333 kelvin temperature 333 to 343 kelvin temperature 6 to 7 atmosphere pressure in presence of Ziegler nutta catalyst so it produces the again ethylene only it, it produces the polythene only it produces the polythene both the cases we will get the polythene only but uh, due to the its uh, structural activity sorry that is nothing but uh, due to the st its uh, structural close packing it has the high density it has the low density that's why it was classified as the two two types that is nothing but low density polymers as well as high density polymers okay now here it is the low density polymer at a higher temperature high pressure so uh, trace amounts of peroxy initiators it produces the like polythene okay now let's discuss the these applications so in case of peroxy initiators definitely it follows the free radical addition free radical free radical reaction mechanism so it produces the free radical reaction polymerization again it requires a high high temperatures and a high pressure high temperature as well as high pressure that's why it is uh, lessly used okay now in generally it has chemically inert it has chemically inert and tough chemically inert and tough but it is flexible but it is flexible so it, due to the its flexibleness you, we can prepare the like several uh, several type of uh, bottles as well as very uh, like uh, packing curves okay those kind of materials was prepared from the low density polythene only okay now here it has the like uh, it has the unbranched chain okay high density polymer is unbranched polymer so here it is the like a uh, small branches to large branches are also available small to large branches are present large branch branch type structure okay here it is the unbranched structure as well as due to the unbranchedness it has the closely packed so it has the closely packed so we know that uh, close packing that means uh, the more number of atoms are uh, uh, surrounded by the very simple uh, surroundings very simple surrounding that indicates so due to the its close packing it has the high density it has the high density so here also it is also chemically inert here also chemically inert but uh, Sorry, chemically inert, but it is more tougher and harder 
than the low density polymer more tougher and harder than the low density polymer so it was used for the manufacture of uh, like a uh, very hard material like pipes like buckets those uh, houseware materials like uh, those house houseware uh, plastic materials okay these two are the plastic in ingredients now let's move on to the i think it is clear okay so one is the low density polymer another one is the high density polymer these two are the polythene the de polythene different derivatives now here one more thing is so in case of a high density polythene we use the some catalyst that is nothing but a Ziegler Nutta catalyst we are aware about a Ziegler Nutta catalyst so alc 2 h 5 three times plus a tacl4 this is nothing but a triethyl aluminium tetrachloro titanium tetrachloro titanium so this was the called this was a catalyst called as the, like a jiggler nutta so those catalyst was introduced by the jiggler and nutta jiggler and nutta okay they are awarded by the nobel in 1963 for the sake of their introduction of invention of their catalyst that is nothing but jiggler nutta catalyst it was very useful catalyst okay now let's move on to the like several types of another vinyl polymers Okay, now let's let's discuss the another polymers that is nothing but a ethylene polymers. So second one is the polypropylene. So that indicates a propylene is the monomer CH3 CH double bond CH2. Whenever it undergoes the polymerization, it undergoes the polymerization. So it produces the like this kind of material, this kind of connection. So head and tail linkage CH3 CH2 CH3 over there. So it undergoes like this and it produces the this kind of a polymer that is nothing but a polypropylene polypropylene it is a like a stronger and harder than that of the polythene so those two kinds of a polythene okay it is a very stronger and harder one okay now it is used for the manufacturing of a, like a textiles as well as a food a food linears those kind of materials those kind of materials as well as a heat wrapping shrinkages so like those kind of uh, heat shrinkage wrappers okay so those kind of materials was prepared by the polypropylene so this is the third one now let's move on to the fourth one so that is nothing but uh, we know that polystyrene polystyrene so we know that the structure of styrene this is simply it is called as a vinyl benzene vinyl benzene is uh, another name is nothing but a uh, styrene styrene can undergo the polymerization it produces the, this kind of material CH double bond CH2 so this is the like a styrene structure under the styrene it attack over there that is a, like in the form of a, like head to head linkage head to head linkage so this is the polymeric structure of a styrene polymeric structure of styrene simply it is called as a polystyrene we know that so the recent incident of um, like a Weizag, uh, LG polymers uh, incident in Weizag. So it was exploded by the polystyrene gas. It was exploded by the this polystyrene gas, and it is uh, more effect on the surrounding villages. Okay, so several people have died based on the like uh, explosive nature of uh, this polystyrene. This polystyrene. This is the like another vinyl polymer this is the another vinyl polymer so here it is used for the like uh, several uh, like plastic uh, plastic textiles several plastic textiles it is a insulator it is a insulator now let's discuss this some other things some other polymers okay now the styrene is also used for the like uh, bodies of television as well as radio uh, those kind of uh, like uh, refrigerated bodies okay so now let's move on to the another kind of uh, vinyl polymers now in the second case so the halo vinyl polymers now we'll discuss the halo vinyl polymers halo vinyl polymers so in case of halo vinyl polymers the first one that is nothing one the serial number is uh, five so that is nothing but polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl chloride simply it is called as pvc polyvinyl chloride so this is nothing but a ch like a ch2 ch2 ch cl simply sorry ch2 ch cl it undergoes the polymerization it produces the ch2 ch cl over there ch2 ch cl over here so this is the like a structure of a polyvinyl chloride structure of polyvinyl chloride so it is wonderful to manufacture the like raincoats as well as handbags those kind of materials it was manufactured by the like polyvinyl chloride it is also an example of a vinyl vinyl derivative of polymer vinyl polymer derivative okay now let's discuss the another vinyl derivative that is nothing but a teflon we know that teflon tapes okay so this is nothing but a, like a c double bond c f 
F, F. So in case of all of the hydrogens, that is called as ethylene. Okay, in case of four fluorine atoms are present, that is nothing but tetrafluoroethylene. Simply it is called as tetrafluoroethylene. So whenever it undergoes the polymerization, it undergoes the polymerization, it produces this kind of material. So this kind of n number of materials. We use the n number of uh, like monomers. We will get the n number of materials. That is nothing but a tetrafluoro tetra sorry poly tetrafluoroethylene tetrafluoroethylene. Simply it is called as PTFE. Simply it is called as PTFE. So it was used for the insulator. So it has the like uh, some resistance power to. Uh, to avoid the like uh, corrosive reagent, to avoid the corrosive reagent, again it has uh, some other properties. So in case of uh, more than 350 degrees centigrade temperature, it is ready to decompose. It is ready to decompose. That is one of the drawback of this stuff. Lab. Okay. Now let's move on to the some other halo derivatives. So in case of uh, change of uh, one vinyl, one chlorine group over here, so that means it is a C double bond F F F. Here it is the fluorine and chlorine. So this is the number seven. So in case of uh, one chlorine, three fluorines, that is nothing but uh, like a poly monochloro trifluoro monochloro trifluoroethylene. So simply it is called as a like a PCT FE. So this is the another polymer of uh, another polymer of uh, halo halo vinyl polymers halo vinyl polymers so these having the similar kind of a similar kind of uh, properties over there similar kind of uh, properties over here so now let's move on to the some other vinyl polymers let us discuss the some other vinyl polymers i think it is seven is completed seven are completed now let's move on to the another things Okay, now let's discuss the, I think it is a seventh one, not the eighth one, seventh one. So now let's move on to the, some other things. That, that is uh, nothing but uh, polyacrylates. So in case of uh, polyacrylates, we will discuss the some of the polyacrylates. So the best polyacrylate is, that is nothing but a uh, polymethop, polymethyl, methoxy acrylate, methoxy acrylate. So this is the PMMA. PMMA. So, how do you prepare the polymethoxy acrylate? Let's let's look down uh, the preparation method of a polymethoxy acrylate. So, we know that. So, this is nothing but a ketone derivative. So, the, simply it is called as acetone. Okay. So, whenever acetone treated with uh, like a hydrogen cyanide, so HCN, we pro it produces the CH3, CH3 over there like OH, CF. So this is the general general cyanohydrin cyanohydrin. So this is the cyanohydrin alcohol. So in presence of concentrated H2SO4, so the CN undergoes the hydrolysis. It produces the like this type of material. That is nothing but a like over here CH3 C CH3. So here CN becomes a COOH. CN becomes a COOH. Again, one more property of H2SO4. So the concentration of concentration of H2SO4 it eliminates the water molecule. That's why it is used for the dehydrating agent. That's why it is used for the dehydrating agent. So now here OH over here and the H over here. So here both are eliminated as water molecule. It produces the CH2 double bond CH. CH2 double bond CH. So this is simply it is called as a methyl methoxylate methyl methoxylate so whenever the methyl methoxylate will undergoes the like polymerization it produces the it it produces the like a polymethyl methoxylate polymethyl methoxylate so this is the derivative ch2 double bond c ch3 over there coo methyl so this is the polymethyl methoxylate so will undergoes the polymerization it produces the ch2 c over here methyl CO CH3 over here. So this is the polymer structure of PMMA. So this is the polymeric structure of PMMA. That is nothing but polymethyl methacrylate. Polymethyl methacrylate. So just the for sake of changing of methyl group over there, that means in, in, instead of a, like a acetone, we use it in like a acetaldehyde CH3 C double bond OH. So in presence of HCN followed by the H2SO4 followed by the like methanol I think uh, in previous case I misread the methanol so after the hydrolysis we will get the like a COOH so after uh, after the hydrolysis we will get the COOH after getting the COOH it was uh, converted into COCH3 COCH3 
CO H will convert it into CO CH3 in presence of a methanol only. Okay, in previous case I, I did, did a mistake over there. Please be corrected. Okay, now so these three reactions will produce as the, this kind of material CH2 double bond CH COO CH3. So this is the like a simply ethacrylate. Ethacrylate will undergo the polymerization. It produces the CH2 CH. So simply COO CH3. So this kind of a polymeric structure, this is nothing but polyethocrylate, polyethocrylate. So this is the very simple preparation methods regarding to the uh, methyl acrylates as well as uh, ethacrylates, methyl acrylates as well as ethacrylate. Okay, now let's discuss the some of the other acrylates. Okay, these are the two acrylates, uh, number seven and number eight. Okay, now shall we look out uh, some other acrylates. So now here, we will discuss the CH2, CH double bond, Cl over there. Simply it is called as polyvinyl chloride. In case of a phenyl, it is a styrene. So instead of chlorine or phenyl group, we use the cyanide. That is nothing but a nitrile group. So simply it is nothing but a polyacrylonitrile. Sorry, it is a simply it is a acrylonitrile. So acrylonitrile will undergo the like polymerization. It produces this kind of material. So this kind of a polymer. So those polymer is called as a PAM. So simply it is called as a pan. So pan is nothing but a pan card. Okay. So it's not a pan card. Okay. So it is nothing but polyacrylonitrile. Polyacrylonitrile. So it, it was the like a good fabric. Okay. So in this case, up to up to uh, like a, that is a, before the pan, we are discussed about only plastics. But pan is the fiber. So pan is the fiber. So please be uh, careful about uh, these. Uh, properties okay so up to like before the pan so those are the plastic materials now pan that is nothing but a polyacrylonitrile is the fabric fabric material fabric material simply it is used for the like a substitution of wools in commercial fabric material preparation substitution of wools in commercial fabric material preparation okay we know that so this is the very simple thing regarding to the polyacrylonitrile okay so that's all for this video very simple like remembering for the like a Acrylates. Let's look out all the acrylates, all the vinyl polymers. So CH2, CH2. So here CH2, CH2 that is called as a polythene. So this is the polythene. So here let's we'll discuss. Here H is equal to H is equal to polythene. So here, like instead of H, we use the methyl that is the polypropylene. Polypropylene. So instead of a methyl, we use the chlorine that is the PVC. So here in case of CN, this is the PAN. In case of a PN that is a pan. So in case of phenyl, that is the styrene, polystyrene. So these are the very simple, uh, like a very simple vinyl polymers regarding to the our uh, polymer chemistry. Okay, that's all for this video. This is a, this have like a lot of uh, vinyl polymers. In next video, I'll upload the another class of uh, polymers. Thank you so much for watching.